Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Transformers Reanimated. This week we will be doing a reading of issue 10 entitled, uh, fucking forgot it already. <laughs> <laughs> for the love, for hate. the love of hate, part one. Uh, with me is my wonderful writing partner, Greg. How you doing, Greg? I'm, I'm good. I'm mostly excited because it's been a few months, but Trax is back. Oh yeah. <laughs> This will be an interesting read. <laughs> yes, they're all interesting reads. <laughs> yeah. We went to Canada for five minutes. Budget we cuts. Came back. With us this week, this uh, this group of comedians we have assembled, uh, starting with Mike from Mike Cybert Radio. How you doing, Mike? Yeah, I'm doing great. It's good to be back. Dude, I really thoroughly, absolutely, wholeheartedly enjoyed your interview with Flint Dilly recently. Oh, thanks for checking that out, man. Yeah, no, that was a that was a blast. I uh, so he joined me on my podcast to talk about his brand new book, The Games Master, uh, which uh, is available now. You can uh, download it on Audible. It's an audiobook version that's phenomenal, and uh, you can also get a uh, signed copy of the book through Rare Bird Books. And it was uh, it, it was great. I, I did most of the stuff, uh, m most of the things that I did just involved staying out of the way because anybody that knows anything about Flint Dilly knows that he can just talk and talk and talk. He'd make a fantastic podcaster. Uh, but, re but really, more than anything, I just asked him to tell me some stories about his work on Transformers the movie, and it was, uh, it, it was a blast. He had uh, given me a couple insights that I didn't quite know, and it was, uh, it was tons of fun. I, uh, I've had the book pre-ordered for months on Amazon, and uh, mm -hmm. what I've learned from, from your podcast is uh, I'm jealous with Rage you got an advanced copy. I'm jealous with Rage you've got a signed copy, and uh, uh, I should have just fucking waited, but I'm still waiting. But my book will be here. I'm looking forward to reading it, and I really did enjoy that episode, man. Thanks, man. Really appreciate it. It's, again, it's uh, tons of fun. Uh, and uh, we can't have Mike without the Autopod Decepticast. How you doing, Ryan? Good. Thanks for having me. I'm representing Solo this round. No Aaron right. or Caleb. But you're going to do their voices, so we should be okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> we, well, we do have we do have Aaron via technology. Um, so <laughs> he sent me a little message uh, that I can play. Uh, through my phone, so we'll uh, we'll let that happen and see what happens. I love it. All right, sophisticated I'm shit. Fucking talented, mate. Don't worry about that. Everybody, it's Aaron from the Autopod Decepticast. Thank you, Greg and Yoshi, for allowing me to record here in isolation and send you the tracks. I'm sorry I couldn't be there with everybody collaborating together. I know it would be a lot of fun, uh, but thanks for letting me participate. I will be performing in quotes, the character of Mud, who is a real weaselly, mustache-twirling, sniveling, villainous lawyer, introduced all the way back in Reanimated Issue 2, and the if you listen to those recordings, the development of that character <laughs> over time <laughs> was kind of a shit show. Uh, but uh, I'm glad it made an impression and that the team here <laughs> would allow me to continue that character. Thanks, everybody. Happy to participate. Awesome. Wow, he's, he's become the ghost of the iconic moment. <laughs> yeah. It's like he's really here. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we can... Uh, I, I will be playing the character of Mud via Aaron via my phone. So there you go. It's all very exciting. All right. P puppeteer credit, please. <laughs> so, uh, Ryan, how are, how are things over at the Autopod Decepticast? What, uh, what episode are you guys on currently? Uh, today we just dropped episode 131, which was Enter the Nightbird. Um, that's, that's a fun one to, that we did. And then, um, you know, we also did manage, I mean, we've got big thanks to Mike for giving us the heads up about, uh, his, you know, Flint Dilly interview because we were able to get him and we are next Saturday, you're going to record an interview with him that'll probably come out July, uh, 19th, I think. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, yeah, the 19th. Um, so yeah, we're going to talk to him about his book and all kinds of, Stuff. It'll be our second episode we're recording that day, so we'll be drunk. 
<laughs> oh man, I nice. cannot wait. That's awesome. Nice. So uh, we've now this is a this is a multi part huge cast script. We had to call our Canadian friend James over. How you doing, James? Hey, how's it going, eh? <laughs> <laughs> it's going well. That's good yeah, to hear, Hoser. Uh, the borders are closed, and uh, yeah, life couldn't be better. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, keeping safe. I'm just Doggades on Twitter. I'm not a fan caster. I'm just like a weird follower, Patreon giver, wannabe helper outer guy. Eh? Yes, you in, paid uh, your way plan. onto the show, so we <laughs> exactly. had to let you come. <laughs> <laughs> no responsibility here. I just, you know, <laughs> bask in all that is you guys. So you're ready for this. You're absolutely yeah. ready for this. Yeah, I even got uh, a couple pages right. of the script. You know, I figure I'm just going to wing the rest. It'll be fine. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We, Classic. We fit in well. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she Mr. said. Mr. Toby's here, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Saving the best for last. <laughs> absolutely. How you doing, sir? I'm um, trying to hold in a poop or something. I was okay. <laughs> 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 Sorry. <laughs> you meant to say I can, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm predicting good things for Toby. I can do that. I can do. I have a. I I had coffee earlier and I'm drinking a Monster Rehab right now, and, uh, and Toby, I have next week off work. He so doesn't need it. Hey, Toby's got uh, Toby's got some uh, laser gun foley as well, from what I understand. Oh yeah, yeah. So here. Oh man. Geek going totally back to the 80s. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that probably sounded great in everyone's ear. That was you, really great. Did you say um, you got next week off from work? Yes. That's uh, that's an interesting way of saying fired, but, you know. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, so they give us too much um, uh, PTO and say that it's user to lose it. And then during a pan- then during a pandemic, we get paid for four weeks. Um, anyway. So we're like, everybody's just taking vacation whenever we want to. This was actually supposed to be TFCon, I believe, Toronto this week. So I just kept my, uh, my vacation. Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. I am actually wondering if uh, October is going to happen in Chicago. Mm. I'm going with no. Mm. Chicago, yeah, maybe. Like, uh, I don't think Toronto is going to happen. No. No. <laughs> Chicago is such a hot spot, too, right? Yeah. 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 I mean, I don't know. This might be an unpopular opinion, but I think until the calendar says something other than 2020, I don't think anybody is going anywhere or doing anything. Nobody with any self-preservation. <laughs> I mean, yes. it's like so. So, like for example, uh, the Cybertronic Spree uh, rescheduled their uh, their tour, and there's new tour dates. And like the second stop on their tour is in Seattle. It's like December second, and I'm like, you know what? Probably still not gonna go. Yeah. That that show was supposed to happen in April, and I'm like, I I I, I don't know if I could do it. I've decided that any, any shows like that I go to are going to be um, like really good masks. Like not yeah. just not just the little cloth ones. Like gonna... John Travolta from In the Bubble Boy. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I'm vadering it. If I'm gonna go. Uh... Ooh, <laughs> we should stick with that. I want to do uh, Daniel Naruso in the shower. Dress up as Daniel Naruso in the shower. Yeah, yeah. There you, you go. go. There you go. Yeah. Crush. <laughs> Your mom. Okay. I love it. So, uh, we're we're gonna dive into. Uh, for the love of hate, part one. We can't do this until we talk about Damon Bat's cover art here, guys. Of course, it's classic. Uh, this thing uh, blew my mind when I first saw it. I mean, fucking power glide, Greg. Mm. Yeah, and tracks. Like it's it's. This is your cover. Oh, until I, I just need the top half of it. It's gold. <laughs> yeah, it's gorgeous. <laughs> Grimlock though as well, and then yeah, I love the uh, I love the prime. Down in the bottom corner. That's very much, uh, you know, Megatron must be stopped. That's yeah. very much that mm-hmm. uh, shot as well, which mm-hmm. is cool. So, and Astoria gets some love. Come on, <laughs> you got a, you know, Power Glides girl, baby. I also think this is the first time Raoul's ever been on the cover of anything. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, representation is important. <laughs> as we sit here with like six white guys. Yep. Well, at least we're international. I mean, it's not just like, you know, a bunch of white guys from from 
U.S. Yeah, whatever. just the other white countries. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, baby steps, baby steps. So, uh, Yoshi, is this a, is a Damon's cover? Uh, I know he's been doing a lot of uh, homages with a lot of these uh, Transformers reanimated covers. Is this uh, inspired about any uh, particular classic cover? I don't. I don't particularly recognize it. You know, it's not. Uh, we, uh, Greg and I, the way the process works is Greg and I uh, uh, yell at each other for hours over what the cover should be. And then we pitch. That's because you don't want Power Glide just standing there right. in all his glory on every cover, which is, I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> and then we, uh, we take our best idea to Damon, and Damon sketches it up and then usually provides his own his own ideas and this ended up being a multi mash of like three different ideas and it just i don't know it just works it works for a cover it works for a poster it's uh i don't know i like it damon's it's gonna make for a nice it's gonna make for a nice print for sure the first idea we had was uh just so you can see how it's a mash mash up uh the first idea we had was basically prime and i think uh, i don't know like one or two of the other bots uh, outside the the iconic Las Vegas sign, basically, uh, and the second idea we had was um, a Prime and a few of the bots kind of standing around Teletran One, being like, "Oh no," you know, with the uh, Astoria kidnapped on Teletran One image. So Damon's kind of like, "Well, we'll do both." So, which yeah, like as she said, it worked out even better. So mm. I don't know how this guy draws. I can barely hold a pencil. <laughs> all right uh is everybody ready to to impress me with voices i'm sure. gonna do some <laughs> <laughs> maybe uh, i might be yeah. able to do it <laughs> you know why i'm here <laughs> yeah. i was told there'd be juice i don't see any <laughs> juice here <laughs> <laughs> All righty, here we go. Page one, panel one. Interior, the Autobot Arc, main control room. A full splash page reveals the data screen of Teletran 1. Its digital image reveals a newspaper's front page. Its photograph is that of Astoria Colton Ritz from the girl who loved Powerglide. While the headline reads, Missing, Hybrid Technology CEO Feared Kidnapped. Powerglide, off panel. Well, why, why are we just standing here? We gotta do something. Prowl, off panel. Easy, Power Glide. Page two, panel one. Power Glide stands before Teletran One and its image of Astoria with his hands on his head with worry. Besides, beside Power Glide, Prowl does his best to calm the minibot while both Optimus Prime and Blaster also stand nearby. I like that we're decked at this point using Teletran 1 as just a microfiche to look yeah. at a newspaper. Yeah, yeah pretty Do much. Do we have to explain to the millennials what a microfiche is? <laughs> well, otherwise, Spike would have to come in and be like, I found the newspaper. <laughs> look, everybody. On microfiche. Yeah, I can read. We might have to explain what a newspaper is. No, fuck them. Look it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Straight one. You're right. I am, Plus, Wayne's, I am Wayne's 30. Murdered. I'm 38, and I'm technically a millennial, so just putting that out there. Okay. Well, fuck you. <laughs> Blaster's Who's chest right? compartment is lit up, an indication that he is receiving a transmission of some kind. Prowl. We've got more than just Astoria to deal with. Power Glide. But, but. Optimus Prime. Prowl is right, Power Glide. We'll help Miss Carlton Ritz as soon as we can. However. Blaster. Whoa, I'm picking up a wicked emergency signal. Panel two. Blaster transforms to boombox mode, shrinking to land on Teletrans terminal as Wheeljack enters the frame to stand beside Optimus Prime. Blaster. It's coming from the White House. Ow! <laughs> I love it. Wheeljack. The White House, you mean? Panel 3. Over Optimus Prime's shoulder, with Blaster now connected to Teletran 1, President Ronald Reagan appears on Teletran 1's data screen. Optimus Prime. President Reagan, it is a pleasure to see you again, sir. 
Reagan. Well, I wish it were under better circumstances, Optimus Prime. I need your help. It seems a strange happenings are afoot near Las Vegas. My people are sending you a visual now. Nice fucking work. Pretty man. good. Nice. <laughs> Tear down mommy? that wall. Mommy. <laughs> Send me the visual, mommy. <laughs> Panel four. Close on Teletran 1's data screen, with a camera shot looking out from and through the city of Las Vegas, a dozen high-tech tanks sit on the horizon. Each tank is cobalt blue in color, adorned with threatening twin turrets and domed qu- cockpits made of blacked-out glass. Reagan. As you can see, Optimus Prime, two hours ago these unusual robotic tanks arrived at the outskirts of Las Vegas. Panel 5. Optimus Prime looks at Teletran 1 as Reagan's face returns to the data screen. Reagan. I fear the Decepticons may be involved. Keep going. I had to flip the script. (laughs) (laughs) My best military minds don't know what they are, where they came from. It's just it. But those tanks have Megatron written all over them. I'm sorry, I'm getting up in the age. (laughs) (laughs) The age. I love it. Give yourself a pardon. I do like that we made Reagan be like, it's definitely Megatron. It's like, yeah, it's not. Spoilers. Those those dirty Megatrons. We should build a wall. (laughs) Well, he's been hanging around with Optimus Prime too long. (laughs) Because, yeah, it's like, oh, my logic sensors are tingling. It's definitely Megatron. I'm not saying it was Megatron, Megatron but it was definitely Megatron. I'm sure it was. The ultimate step. I don't care who it is. It's It's definitely him. (laughs) Yeah, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Panel 6. Confused, Power Glide scratches his head while Wheeljack appears disappointed with his little crimson friend. Optimus Prime and Prowl remain focused on Teletran 1 and its image of Reagan. Power Glide. But Megatron isn't a tank, and even if he was, why would he write his name on it himself? Worst disguise ever. Wheeljack. Nah, you big dummy. He means... Prowl. Optimus, we haven't heard hide nor hair from the Decepticons for a while now. Why would they suddenly attack Las Vegas? Optimus Prime to Reagan. I don't know, but don't worry, Mr. President. You can count on us. If Megatron has anything to do with this, we'll take care of it. Page 3, Panel 1. With Teletran 1 and Reagan's face behind him, a clearly still upset Power Glide approaches Optimus Prime while Blaster remains connected to the supercomputer. Reagan. Thank you, Optimus Prime. <laughs> yeah. It's a good one. It's I'm good. Loving it. I love I'm it. Loving it's it. great. Well done. Power Glide. But what about Astoria? We gotta help her. Blaster. Speaking of which, we need to switch to TFN. Right now! Panel 2, close on Teletran 1's data screen. The image now displays the face of Hannah McCormick, an African-American news anchor. The TFN logo is superimposed on the top right of the screen, revealing that Blaster is now channeling a television broadcast into the arc. Hannah McCormick through Teletran 1. Welcome back to TFN. With breaking news, I'm Hannah McCormick. A ransom video has just been transmitted to the press by the alleged abductors of the hybrid technology CEO, Astoria Carlton Ritz. TFN warns its viewers some may find the following video disturbing. Panel 3. Close on Powerglide's horrified face as he looks upon the unseen by us ransom video. The reflection of Teletran 1 can be seen in his eyes, showing a silhouetted man hidden in darkness. Unknown abductor. Who we are is irrelevant. Who we have here, Carlton Ritz. Do not try to find us. We will soon communicate further ransom details, but until then, do not cross us, or she will suffer the consequences. I am having a succulent Chinese meal. (laughs) 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 Oh, these spices are going to break through me. I I need to make this quick. (laughs) That's a great... That's a great voice. <laughs> As I've just soiled myself, I'll just say this much. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. 
I don't no? think that's oh. in my script. Nah. This will make the bloopers. I mean, bloopers. I mean, bloopers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want any details. <laughs> Power glide. Oh, no. Astoria! Panel 4, Power Glide rushes to Optimus Prime, reaching up at the Autobot leader like a frightened child running to their parent. Power Glide. See? We gotta do something. Please, Optimus? Panel 5, Blaster transforms back into robot mode to land on his feet beside Prowl, while Trax enters the frame to draw Optimus Prime's attention away from Power Glide. Trax. Look, as much as I care about saving Power Glide's rich little debutante, what about those hideous tanks near Las Vegas? Missed that voice. <laughs> <laughs> I love Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Next year it's Hanukkah. <laughs> Prowl. Trax is right, Prime. We can't ignore either threat. Blaster. Whoa, Optimus, my anti-encryption geolocator is singing to me like a Lithonian cyberbird. It says that a video was transmitted from a small island in the South Pacific. Panel six. Well done, Ryan. Big up. Yeah, yes. well done. That's a mouthful of you. <laughs> I practiced some of it. these a couple of times. <laughs> well done. That's, that's a smart thing to do after my last Megatron bout where I couldn't say word. <laughs> I don't think you were lying, Greg. Some of us are off book. <laughs> <laughs> Panel 6, Optimus Prime turns to see Bumblebee, Cliffjumper, Brawn, Beachcomber, and Sea Spray in the control room behind him. Optimus Prime. Good work, Blaster. And you're right, Prowl. Those tanks certainly do require our attention. However, Miss Carlton Ritz is also needs us. <laughs> is also needs us. <laughs> Brawn, take a team to that island and find those responsible for her abduction. The rest of us will head to Las Vegas to deal with these mysterious tanks. All your base are belong to us. <laughs> that's yeah, that's exactly what <laughs> yeah. I thought. Yeah. <laughs> I can't have cheeseburger. <laughs> Braun. Did we decide on somebody doing Braun? We will now. I, James. Mm -hmm. James, I thought that was I a James. Was you got it, Prime. All right. Ooh, that's not bad. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's Brawny. I gotta go back to selling my paper towels now. <laughs> Page 4, Panel 1, Wide Shot. Bumblebee, Cliffjumper, Beachcomber, Brawn, Sea Spray, and Power Glide, all in vehicle mode, race by Optimus Prime and towards the Ark's exit. Do you think you put Braun. enough guys in here? Like, this is a 40 character script. <laughs> <laughs> it's 20 But they're very issue. little. Look, Look, Hasbro has toys to. You <laughs> just gotta put as many in as possible. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wrapping up the story <laughs> arc. You gotta get everyone in. Mm -hmm. Come on. Gotta gotta have enough guys to I kill. I can't wait to get my Ronald Reagan figure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it comes with a wall. <laughs> oh no. With real ripped a tear downable wall. <laughs> He's got like a button in his back, and like his uh, hand goes up to like point. Well, it's like well, click, well, like, like a superpowers well. figure. He's like, tear down that wall. <laughs> Which With one? Real click kung fu one. gesturing. <laughs> yes. Yeah. He has a rock. With trickle down effect. <laughs> he, comes with, uh, he comes with a Ronald Ray gun. Oh. oh. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Costanza, I gotta do the oh, Costanza. That's good. Not everybody. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Here lies Toby. R.I.P. Oh, no. Fantastic. <laughs> pew, pew. <laughs> oh. Yeah. The oh, my God. That's beautiful. My this face has to happen now. Guys, Come on. Oh, oh. That's amazing. Toby, get drawing. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Good stuff. We got to rewrite the part two and put Reagan in it. <laughs> Good lord. Brawn. Come on, guys, let's to that island. Beachcomber. Ooh, the South Pacific sounds groovy, man. <laughs> we finally got a job for him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking hippie. <laughs> Power glide. We're coming, Astoria. And away we go. <laughs> Nailed it. Need that as my like text alert, Yoshi. All right, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, I'm, you know how to reach me. <laughs> <laughs> Panel two, 
Optimus Prime turns and issues orders to Jazz, standing further back within the HQ. Optimus Prime. Jazz, contact all available Autobots and instruct them to meet us outside of Las Vegas. Jazz. Roger, Prime! Panel 3, exterior, outside the arc, day. Splash panel. All in vehicle mode, Optimus Prime leads his convoy of Autobots out of the arc. Prowl, Wheeljack, and Jazz follow close behind their leader while Blaster, now again in boombox mode, rides within Trax's flying car mode as it zooms above the others. Optimus Prime. Autobots, roll out! Page 5, Panel 1, Exterior, Seagrass Island, the South Pacific, Day. Caption, Seagrass Island, South Pacific. From above, the picturesque tropical island is something from a postcard. Luscious jungle covers most of the land, surrounded by white, sandy beaches, with clear blue water lapping at its shores. In the center of the island's jungle sits a pyramid-shaped glass citadel, poking free of the trees to mark its position like a man-made volcano. Its striking design and purple color scheme is a stark contrast to the natural landscape that surrounds it. Astoria captioned, I don't know who you think you are, but you clearly don't know who I am. If this is what you think, you can get away with this. <laughs> Panel 2, Interior, Inside the Citadel. Astoria Carlton Ritz stands within a box-like cell constructed of prison bars and hanging from the ceiling like an oversized, bir like an oversized birdcage in a nightclub. Furious, she grips the prison bars with indignation while on the floor below her sits a lavish supercomputer. Its data screen is blank, yet its speakers are emitting some kind of audio-only communication. Astoria. I mean, what the heck is this? Where am I? You better let me go or I'll... Unknown abductor transmitted from the supercomputer speakers. <clears throat> that is quite enough, Miss Carlton Ritz. Nice. I like the folly there, that was good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well done. Panel 3. Close on Astoria's incensed expression. Astoria. I said, let me go. If you think you're going to get rich from this hackneyed little scheme, then think again, bozo. You won't get one dime out of me or my company. I enjoyed the slice of ham you added there. I, I She is slowly <laughs> turning everything. into Catherine Hepburn. I love it. Right. I, I'm That's here good. for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the bars. Got oh. just enough quiver and handshake. I love it. <laughs> Fist shaking. Well, power, power glides Jackie Gleason, so it kind of works. <laughs> Unknown abductor off panel. You think this is about money, my dear girl? As you can see by your lavish surroundings, we have more than enough money. No, this is about the writing wrongs. This is about the hunt. I fucking love that. Mm hmm. <laughs> Tasty. Yeah, very. Panel 4. From below, angled up at Astoria's cage, the voice continues to emanate from the supercomputer's audio speakers. Unknown abductor, voice only. And you're going to help us. Astoria. Us? Panel 5. Astoria manages to poke her head through the prison bars, confronting the supercomputer and its disembodied voice. Astoria. If you know who I am, then you know who my friends are. Power Glide will come for me. The Autobots will come for me. Unknown abductor through the audio speakers. Oh, Miss Carlton Ritz. Autobots coming here. Panel 6. Close on Astoria's shocked expression. Unknown abductor from off panel. We're counting on it. <laughs> Page six. <laughs> Page six, panel one. Exterior, the outskirts of Las Vegas, day. Caption, the Nevada desert. Beneath the blistering sun, Optimus Prime stands with Prowl, both surrounded by the Nevada desert. In the background, the vehicle forms of Jazz and Wheeljack approach them. Prowl. This is it, Optimus. Las Vegas. Wow. <laughs> you know, and I, I was getting ready to compliment you on your acerbic prowl, but I just feel what like, happened? I feel what like happened? you would not be interested in Vegas. Yes. Yeah. He'd be like, well, the cops are no good here. Fuck this place. <laughs> wow. 
Wheeljack. Thanks, Cybertron. This heat has been murder on my tires. Panel 2, from the opposite angle, Trax zooms into frame from the sky as Blaster's boombox mode leaps from the flying Autobot to transform and land on his feet. The city of Las Vegas again appears on the horizon. Trax. I don't know why or why anyone would build such a garish city in the middle of a desert. The humidity alone must be murder. Blaster. Hey, speak for yourself, Jack. I can't wait to check out the Neon Nightlife. Panel 3. Trax now transforms to land on his feet beside Blaster, who in turn stands with Optimus Prime and Jazz. Optimus Prime. There will be time for sightseeing later. But first, Jazz, did you send the others our coordinates? Jazz. You bet, Prime. All available Autobots are currently grooving their way to his sheer location. Panel 4, Jazz turns and points to the background to reveal the vehicle modes of Ironhide, Smokescreen, and Mirage making their way across the desert. Jazz. Check it out! <laughs> we got incoming from the south! <laughs> it should give some of enthusiasm to Prowl, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> Ironhide drives up from the south, yeah, get it? Yeah. <laughs> Panel 5, Optimus Prime looks off to the right of frame as Jazz points towards more Autobots approaching, namely Ratchet, Skids, and Warpath, all in vehicle modes. Jazz. And from the east, here comes a few more movers and shakers to join the party. Panel 6, from above, Optimus Prime, Jazz, and Prowl look up as Jazz points to the sky. Five robotic silhouettes fall across all three Autobots on the ground. Jazz. And last but not least, from the north... Page 7, Panel 1. From behind Jazz and Optimus Prime, the Dinobots have arrived. Grimlock, Swoop, Slag, Snarl, and Sludge in robot mode. Drop from the sky to land before their leader like the most badass boy band ever. <laughs> Jazz. The Dinobots! Optimus Prime. Excellent. Grimlock. Mmm, me Grimlock here to save the day. Sludge. Yeah, we're stupid tanks. Slag. Me, Slag, smash them all. <laughs> That's cool. That We're done. I love it. I really like the Dinobots. <laughs> gotta... Slag facing the other way. They all ended beautifully, but he was just... <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Sludge and Slag, all you got to remember is Sludge is dumb and Slag is angry. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Panel 2. As Grimlock stands in the background, Optimus Prime turns towards Jazz and Prowl in the foreground. Prowl is looking through a set of digital binoculars. Jazz. All available Autobots assembled and ready, Prime. Optimus Prime. Good work, Jazz. Prowl, what's the status of those tanks? Prowl. I have a visual prime. He's back. It's like they're having fun in Vegas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All business. Yeah. Panel 3, Prowl's point of view. Looking through the heavily digitized filter of his binoculars, the army of a dozen tanks sits just before the city on the horizon. In the foreground, however, a lone motorcycle and its rider speed towards the front of the frame. Prowl. A dozen tanks moving toward our position, Optimus. Whatever they are, we've got their attention. But wait, who is that? Panel How four. many more characters are in this motherfucker? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> well, it's a new page, so we got to introduce somebody else. Come on. Yep. <laughs> this is our Five Faces of Darkness, where it's like I think every character. Is it the Five Faces of Darkness? Five more Faces of Darkness. Like, there's a new character introduced every three seconds or something. Panel four. I think it's Rebirth. Panel 4, the motorcyclist arrives to stop before Prowl and Optimus Prime, reaching for his helmet as Trax pushes his way into the foreground. Trax. Wait, it's okay. I think I know this human. Raul, is that you? Raul. Hey, Trax. Long time no see. Panel 5, Raul from Make Trax and Autobot <laughs> removes his helmet to look up at Trax while pointing off panel tracks indeed but what are you doing out here raul i needed a change of pace so i thought i'd see what vegas had to offer 
Everything seemed pretty peachy until, well, they showed up. Page 8, Panel 1. With a bird's eye view splash panel looking down from high above, 12 more tanks have arrived to join the others in encircling the Autobots. Each of our, each of our heroes now appear like ants in the frame, surrounded by their continu contentious enemy. The group of Autobot, oh, motherfucker. <laughs> the group of Optimus Prime, Prowl, Jazz, Blaster, Trax, and Raoul are situated in the center of the circle. Trax has knelt down to provide shelter for Raoul. Ironhide and the Dinobots stand toward the left, while Wheeljack, Smokescreen, and Mirage are positioned just below them, while Ratchet, Warpath, and Skids remain on the right of the circle. We wanted to add more characters here, but we realized we were fucking with the artist at this point. <laughs> Where is everyone Jack standing? Says they appear like ants. Oh, <laughs> I don't have to draw it. Fuck it. Yeah, that's not my fucking problem. <laughs> hey, Damon. Jazz. Hey, where'd they come from? Prowl. More tanks. This is getting out of hand. Blaster. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Love <Thank> it. <laughs> Piece of shit prowl is the best prowl. Yeah, you... Blaster. And hostile. Optimus Prime. I agree. Panel two, small insert panel. Optimus Prime lifts his ion blaster, turning back to face the Dinobots. Optimus Prime. Dinobots, transform and attack. Grimlock. Me Grimlock way ahead of you. Panel 3, now in their dino modes, the Dinobots leap forth to assault the various tanks with a combination of claw, teeth, and fire breath. Page 9, Panel 1, with Ratchet and Skids firing weapons towards more tanks, Warpath begins to transform. <laughs> Warpath? <laughs> <laughs> He's still listening to his Wham album. Yeah. <laughs> Zowie, I've said it before and I'll say it again. <laughs> Panel 2, now in his own tank mode, Warpath fires upon one of the enemy war machines. Warpath. Tank you! <laughs> Toby, where's our, our pew pew button sounds? <laughs> Panel 3, Optimus Prime leaps into the air to land on and crush one tank while a second moves in on him from behind. Optimus Prime. Hmm, something about this feels a little too familiar. Panel 4. The second tank fires what looks to be a landmine-like disc that sticks to Optimus Prime's back. Optimus Prime. What? Panel 5. The device emits a powerful electrical charge that overwhelms Optimus Prime. Ironhide and Wheeljack look on in horror. Optimus Prime. <laughs> Ironhide. Prime! Page 10, Panel 1, Exterior, The Shore of Seagrass Island, Day. Caption, Seagrass Island. As the waves crash against the shore, sea spray in hovercraft mode moves through the surf toward the beach. The jetpack-wearing trio of Bumblebee, Brawn, and Beachcomber land in, on, land in the foreground. Cliffjumper remains in car mode in the background, cruising through the waves by use of his hydrofoils as Powerglide can't help but loop-de-loop -loop in the sky above. Powerglide. You guys saw that ugly-looking pyramid in the middle of the island, right? Looks like Whipping that's the place to start kicking down doors and wiping floors. <laughs> With bad guys, that is. Great. Great power glide. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Well, well, fuck you guys. <laughs> Why does it feel like he's that uh, professor from The Simpsons? Blave and night. Blave and Blave and Blave and Jinkies. Braun. Quiet, Power Glide. We know this is where the ransom video came from, so let's fan out and see what we can see. Beachcomber. All right, like, <laughs> lead the way, baby. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking he high. He upset about everything. Hey, man, somebody just crushed you to your... Oh, uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> He's like, there's got to be something I can smoke around here. Yeah. So if, if Greg ever isn't here for that, I want whoever does Beachcomber to do something different and be like... Uh, like either McConaughey or uh, what's the other one? Um, like Cheech and Chong. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right, hey, like lead the way. Tommy Chong, yeah. <laughs> like lead the way, baby. Hey, how you doing? Beachcomber is man. what. Beachcomber is what all the Transformers would sound like if it was made in the '70s and not the '80s. 
<laughs> Whoa, transform. I thought I already did. Whoa. <laughs> Dave's not here. <laughs> he just sits. Yeah, he just sits around in the ark. Oh, I get it. Transform. I do, all right. Because <laughs> we're cars. It's heavy, man. <laughs> Panel two. Exterior. Seagrass jungle. Day. From behind, Brawn, Bumblebee, and Beachcomber begin to carefully enter the overgrown jungle. Bumblebee. What? <laughs> <laughs> Just, Hold it together. I just. All right. One more time. All right. All right. Ernest, Ernest. <laughs> Paging Ernest. Okay. Try not to make too much. Panel three from the front. Power Glide, now in robot mode, pushes through Bumblebee and Beachcomber to charge into the jungle. <laughs> Bumblebee. Noise? Power Glide. Come on. Astoria needs us. I'll lead the way. I am. I am the galaxy's greatest pilot slash jungle adventurer, after all. Beachcomber. Whoa, not cool, man. Hey. <laughs> Daddy O. <laughs> there goes the vibe, man. Yeah, you noisy fuck. <laughs> so I, I gotta ask, Greg, is is uh, hashish legal in Australia? <laughs> <laughs> not <that> probably. Hashish. <laughs> it's not a concern, I see. You can't get a gun, but yeah, you can probably get. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, watch Dinobot Island. That's what he talks like. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> but but better. Like, proper acting and shit. Panel four. As Powerglide dashes off into the distance, Cliff Jumper, sh Cliff Jumper shouts to him as Brawn lifts Bumblebee back to his feet. Cliff Jumper. Powerglide, you dim-witted dunce. You're gonna give us away. Powerglide. Don't worry, Astoria. I'm coming. I'm... <laughs> Oh, Panel five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Close on Power Glide's foot as he presses down on some kind of trap triggering plate, semi hidden in the undergrowth. Power Glide. Huh? <laughs> Page 11, panel 1. Power Glide is hoisted into the air by what looks like a traditional snare trap, only this one is constructed from a glowing red material that has snaked its way around both of Power Glide's legs to upend him completely. Cliff Jumper and Bumblebee react with surprise in the background. Power Glide. Whoa, what the heck? Bumblebee. Power Glide! <laughs> he was ready. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We wanted to ride in here as well. Like Cliff Jumper has a, has had entirely enough of Power Glide shit. <laughs> Panel two from above. Power Glide remains suspended upside down, dangling into the top of the frame, leaving Bumblebee, Cliff Jumper, Brawn, and Beachcomber below to look up at their trapped colleague. Sea Spray, however, has turned to look behind him as a rumbling sound echoes through the jungle. Power Glide. Hey, get me down. This ain't the kind of daredevil dynamics I'm used to. Cliff jumper. See, what did I tell you? Of all the <laughs> Bumblebee. Aw, oh, take it easy on him, Cliff Jumper. Just just get him down before Sea Spray. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't drown. Don't drown. Catfish got oh. your tongue? <laughs> I can't do it with water, asshole. It's not happening. Oh, come on. <laughs> just a little bit. Let me just, hang on. Let me, let me try this again. A little bit of water. Sea spray. Like, don't gulp it. Just have a little yeah. sip and be uh, like, yeah. Are any of you land lovers hearing this? Oh, my God. Love it. <laughs> Credits. Oh, man. I would like to thank my extension, <laughs> extensive collection of uh, deep throating porn for that. <laughs> nice. <laughs> There's your promo clip. Yeah. Time? The That's coming weird. of Power Glide. <laughs> <laughs> With thanks ah, to yeah. actresses. Yeah. Two girls, one cup. Yeah. Okay. God. <laughs> Panel three. Cliff Jumper, Brawn, Sea Spray, and Beachcomber run for their lives as an enormous shrub cutting bulldozer boat bursts through the jungle to topple several trees and charge directly toward them like a boulder from Raiders of the Lost Ark. In the foreground, Bumblebee has already begun to transform. In the air above, Power Glide remains hoisted by the electrified snare. Brawn, looking back at the bulldozer. What on Cybertron? Where did that come from? 
Cliff jumper. I don't know, but I'm more worried about where it's going. Beachcomber. Whoa, like, yikes. <laughs> <laughs> he says this. Can we take, like, a commercial break or something, man? I mean, a little breather. You know? <laughs> It'll be cool, baby. Don't worry about it. His whole life is in slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> Power glide. Go. Get out of here, guys. Don't worry about me. No trap can hold power glide for long. Bumblebee. Move! Move! Transform! Transform! Ben, no! <laughs> <laughs> I've known him for five minutes. <laughs> Panel four. With the pursuing bulldozers tearing up the jungle in the background, Bumblebee, Brawn, Cliffjumper, and Beachcomber have now switched to vehicle modes racing through the jungle and away from the ravenous machines. However, Sea Spray, still in robot mode, lags behind the others. Bumblebee. I, I don't like this. I've seen this kind of thing before. But the human responsible, it, it can't be him. It just can't be. Cliffjumper. Let's just get free of this jungle and you can ask him yourself. Sea Spray. Uh, guys? <laughs> Do you hear? God, Jesus. <laughs> do you hear? God, do is a hard one to start with. Is do Louis you Armstrong. hear something else? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> panel five. Two identical metallic cylinders swing into the panel from either side of frame to squash sea spray as though he were an at a at a, as ATST. Fuck off. <laughs> sea spray as though he were an ATST being a being taken by Ewoks. Sea spray. <laughs> that's the best that's the best one. I I raced it. I raced away from the last line hoping I'd have a respite, but nope. <laughs> Page 12, panel 1. Still speeding through the jungle, Beachcomber and Brawn veer off from Bumblebee and Cliffjumper. Brawn. Everybody fan out. Whatever this is will be much harder to take if we split up. Oh, split. <laughs> Everybody. Panel 2. Everybody. <laughs> panel 2. A massive column garnished with red and white striped markings pops up from the ground before Brawn. Brawn. Up. Up. <laughs> Panel three. Panel three. Brom. Brawn. Brawn. That. <laughs> Brawn slams directly into the column with a full, f with a painful thud, as Beachcomber fails to see the pit that has opened up on the ground in front of him. Brawn. <laughs> Jesus, dude. Are you okay, you okay buddy? <laughs> I. I, 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 I. <laughs> You get you get points for realism. How's how's the wall? It's the desk. It's the desk. <laughs> Reagan. Oh, okay. Down. I mean that fucking sounded legit. Yeah, that's good stuff. Beachcomber. Oh wow, bro! You need to watch where you're going, man. That looked like it hurt from here. Yeah. Fuck me. <laughs> Panel four. From below, within the pit, Beachcomber falls into the trench. Beachcomber. Whoa, like easy for me to say. Yowza. Uh. This is gonna hurt, man. Yeah. Yikes. I'm gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> Panel 5, exterior. A jungle clearing day. Bumblebee and Cliffjumper have made it to a peaceful clearing, sa seemingly safe from the bulldozer and any obvious traps. Cliffjumper slides to a halt as Bumblebee transforms to robot mode. Cliffjumper... <laughs> What's going on around here? First power glide, then sea spray, now brawn and beachcomber? Something's hunting us. Bumblebee. Not something, someone. And if I'm right, it's a human we tangled with years ago. And his name is John Cena! <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> do, 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 do. The champ is here! <laughs> <laughs> I was going to suggest put like the predator music in the background, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. It couldn't see me. Kill me. Go <laughs> on, kill me. I hear you now. 
I'm gonna vote that that's the new voice of Cliff Jones. We are all, we are all, uh, we are all Arnold. Let's do it. God damn it. Page thirteen, panel one. Through an unknown kaleidoscope-like point of view, Bumblebee and Cliffjumper turn to face the foreground with trepidation. Bumblebee. Wait, what was that? Cliffjumper. Oh, great. Now you're hearing things, too. (laughs) (laughs) You think my voice changed? (laughs) He hit his head. (laughs) You son of a bitch. (laughs) Optimus Prime got you pushing too many pencils. I just want Bumblebee and Cliff Jumper doing that fucking handshake now. Just being like, bam. <laughs> oh man, somebody get on that fan art. I love it. Yeah. What happens on the island does. stays on the island. What are we gonna do in this pit? <laughs> <laughs> Panel two. Bumblebee and Cliff Jumper turn to run as a giant mechanical spider jumps free of the jungle and into the clearing. Why did it have to fucking be spiders? <laughs> Indiana. Yeah. John Peters production, I guess. <laughs> Superman's Cliff gonna Jumper. fight it. Spiders! Now there are spiders! Panel three. The spider shoots a jet of webbing <laughs> towards Cliff All Jumper. over his <laughs> all over his face, neck, and chest. As Cliff Jumper bathes in the white webbing, Bumblebee. <laughs> Cliff Jumper, look Funny out! Shot. Funny shot. Don't get it in your eyes, Cl- man! Close your eyes! <laughs> it's everywhere. Cliff Jumper you looks at Bumblebee. No, man, I want this. <laughs> I think it's the spider, but it's just Power Glide hanging up in the fucking trees. <laughs> Panel four. The webbing wraps around Cliff Jumper as though he were an unlucky fly. Cliff Jumper. Oh, yuck. Is that a typo? <laughs> it's, it's in his hair. It's going to take forever to wash that out. Panel 5. Bumblebee rushes to help Cliff Jumper as the spider moves in on the little yellow Autobot. Bumblebee. Hold on! I'll help you! <laughs> he said eagerly. Panel 6. The spider leaps onto Bumblebee, trapping him beneath its eight spindly legs. Bumblebee. Gah! <laughs> Page 14. Very, very good, Mike. Yeah. Thank you. Page 14, panel 1. Exterior, the outskirts of Las Vegas. Day. Caption. Meanwhile, back at the outskirts of Las Vegas, Optimus Prime stands immobilized by the disc that remains stuck to his back. It beeps while pulsating with a red light from its exterior casing. Smokescreen, Mirage, and Ironhide run toward their leader from the background. Optimus Prime. Can't move. Circuits. Overloaded. Ironhide. Hold on, Prime. Smokescreen. We'll save you, Optimus. <laughs> Thank you, Christopher. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. We'll anyway. save you, <laughs> Optimus. No, that isn't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's much better. He would say Optimus, by the way. That's usually how. Oh, yeah, yeah. Optimus. <laughs> <laughs> We, we critique each other's <laughs> yeah. walking impressions now. That's, yes. I love it. Panel two. Several of the robotic tanks appear to blast Ironhide, Mirage, and Smokescreen with similar landmine-like discs. Just like Optimus Prime, they too are immediately overwhelmed by a potent electrical charge. Ironhide. What the heck? Mirage. Arg! <laughs> I should have gone invisible. Why am I? I'm I'm not even here yet. What? <laughs> He's John Cena. <laughs> do, 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 do. You can't even see me. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to hear for it. <laughs> Panel three. Grimlock has also fallen victim to the tanks and their immobilizing discs, standing like a statue alongside the equally frozen pair of Jazz and Warpath. Grimlock. Me Grimlock can't move. Warpath. Pow! Me neither. I've been zapped. Bam! Panel 4. While Prowl, Wheeljack, and Blaster are all overcome by the tanks and their immobilizer discs, Trax crouches down to protect Raoul. Prowl. (laughs) Wheeljack. What's happening to us? Trax. 
Go, Raul, save yourself. This is no place for a human. Sweet, I'm out. <laughs> I was gonna <laughs> <start> <laughs> yeah, fuck, <laughs> fuck all. Just <laughs> drive away, bitch. Like, See you next episode. I came for the showgirls. <laughs> Panel five. Oh, I'm sorry, Raul. But Trax, what about you, man? Panel five. Raul speeds away on his motorcycle as Trax covers his escape mm. by firing his black beam gun toward two approaching tanks. Trax. Just go. We'll take care of this. We're not beaten yet. Panel six. Both tanks fire through the cloud of black beam energy that surround them to pepper Trax with immobilizer discs, causing him to fall to his knees and freeze in place like the rest of the Autobot, like the rest of his Autobot brethren. Trax. Oh no. <laughs> So, so dainty. Toby, this hit guy. the zoom thing. Oh. There you go. <laughs> you don't want that cowbell. I've got a cowbell. Don't fucking luck. test me. <laughs> Page 15, panel 1. Wide shot. Several incapacitated Autobots, including Optimus Prime, Skids, Swoop, Ratchet, remain in place and unable to move. Ratchet. Prime, what is this? Optimus Prime. I, uh, I don't know, Ratchet. Perhaps this is a Decepticon plot after all. <laughs> you can't let it go. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, <laughs> he has one response Why? to everything. Decepticons. Why, Why would the leader of the humans give Optimus Prime misinformation? Oh, it is, it is wow, right. current. <laughs> Making it timely, I see. Is it considered treasonous if I'm accusing a former president? <laughs> <laughs> Panel two, interior, inside the sea glass island citadel. From behind, five silhouetted figures look on at a series of television screens configured together in a three-by-three -three composition that would make Ozymand... Ozymandias proud. Each monitor displays the fate of a now defeated Autobot. Screen one: Cliffjumper and Bumblebee, each wrapped in mechanical spider webbing. Yeah, that's what we're gonna call. Screen two: <laughs> Brawn remains smashed against the jungle column. Screen three: Jazz and Prowl stand frozen in place. Screen four: A close-up of Optimus Prime's face. Screen five: Power Glide hangs upside down from his snare. Screen six. Smoke screen and blasters stand incapacitated. Screen seven, a close-up on Slag's face. Screen eight, one of the robotic tanks and its twin turrets. Screen nine, Beachcomber lays at the bottom of his pit, grooving out. Just hitting that bong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unknown. Yeah, I like it down here. <laughs> what a what a down. -er. I'm not gonna cause any trouble, guys. This is Ryan's favorite page too, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's got everyone. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Unknown abductor. Excellent. Everything has fallen into place. Unknown abductor numero two. Send in the plane. Panel three. Exterior. The skies above Las Vegas. Day. From above, a huge cargo plane cruises through the sky. On the ground below, Optimus Prime, Ironhide, and Smokescreen remain stuck in place. Ironhide. Now... What the heck is that thing doing here? Smoke screen. I don't know, Ironhide. <laughs> 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 Fucking terrible. <laughs> Panel 4. Exterior. The outskirts of Las Vegas. Day. The cargo plane lands near the contingent of incapacitated Autobots. Smoke screen captioned. But I don't like the look of it. Page 16, panel 1. <laughs> Control, it, controlled by an unknown source, a shocked Optimus Prime transforms into truck mode. Optimus Prime. What? I'm transforming. How? Panel 2. Jazz and Prowl also transform into vehicle mode, as do Ratchet and Wheeljack. Jazz. Prowl, I'm not doing this. Are you? Prowl. Negative jazz, we're all somehow being remotely controlled. Ratchet. What kind of technology is behind this? 
Wheeljack. I don't know. It sure ain't anything I've invented. Because it works. <laughs> oh! There's no explosions. <laughs> Boom, shakalaka. <laughs> Panel three, wide shot. As the sun begins to set on the horizon, the cargo plane's rear bay, oh, giggity, opens while several <laughs> of the Autobots, Optimus Prime, Jazz, Wheeljack, and Ironhide, now all in alt mode, drive up the plane's ramp and load themselves into its hold. Without vehicle modes, Blaster and the Dinobots trudge behind their Autobot, their automotive colleagues like a chain gang. Grimlock. How tiny disc make Grimlock walk when he not want to? Blaster. I don't know, my man. I don't know. Dude, Blaster depressed is deep. That was, that was kind of yep. Denzel right there. Blaster. Blaster. <laughs> Denzel. <laughs> <laughs> Panel 4. The rear bay of the cargo plane slams shut. Blaster captioned. But I think we're going to find out real soon. Panel 5. Exterior. The outskirts of Las Vegas. Further away, day. Straddling his motorcycle, like there's any other way, <laughs> Raul has now traveled some considerable distance away from the danger. He looks back through binoculars at the cargo plane that contains his Autobot friends. Raul. Oh no, they're completely overpowered. Panel six, Raul races on his motorcycle. Raul. <laughs> I've got to get help. Page 17 and 18. Panel one, interior. The trophy room inside the seagrass citadel. Caption. 24 hours later. A double page spread. This issue's entire cast of Autobots stand like sculptures inside a lavish trophy room filled with many overblown keepsakes, 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 including a stuffed lion's head affixed to the wall, a German World War II tank, and a full-size skeleton of a creature that appears to be the bones of a dragon. On the left... Prowl, Jazz, Blaster, Ratchet, Wheeljack, Brawn, Beachcomber, and Sea Spray. In the center, Optimus Prime, Ironhide, the Dinobots, and Mirage. On the right, Cliff Jumper, Powerglide, Trax, Smokescreen, Bumblebee, Skids, and Warpath. In the far right corner of the room, beside a set of sealed twin doors, sits the supercomputer that spoke to Astoria earlier while the feisty CEO hangs from her cage above the Autobots. Astoria. Power Glide, Optimus Prime, what are you doing here? Why aren't you saving me? Optimus Prime. I apologize, Ms. R Carlton Ritz, but we cannot. Page 19, panel 1. Astoria looks down toward the frozen-in-place Autobots. Astoria. What are you talking about? You're the Autobots. You can do anything. <laughs> Full hip bones. Why am I not getting my way now? <laughs> <laughs> Panel two. As Astoria's cage hangs above Optimus Prime, the set of twin doors beside the supercomputer behind him slide apart. A voice echoes out from the darkness of the doorway. Abductor number two from the doorway... This time, Miss Carlton Ritz, this time, these marauding mechanoids have met their match. Panel 3. Optimus Prime begins to awkwardly turn around, once again controlled by an unknown power. Unknown abductor number 2. Yes, that's it, Optimus Prime. Obey your programming like the good robot you are. Optimus Prime. Ugh. Still cannot resist. Panel 4. From the doorway's point of view, as Astoria's cage continues to dangle above him, Optimus Prime now faces away from his fellow frozen Autobots, Blaster and Mirage, to stare down toward his off-panel oppressor, Abductor. Now, Optimus Prime, face the man who beat you, or should I say, men. Optimus Prime. What? Who? Panel 5. Close on Optimus Prime's horrified expression of disbelief. Optimus Prime. No! No! It's not possible! 
It's not true. <laughs> it's, it's impossible. No. 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 Shaking his hands above his head, even though he can't move. <laughs> I killed <Yes>. Padme. <laughs> <laughs> Page 20, panel 1. A splash page reveals the villains behind the entire ordeal. Lawrence Mudd Esquire stands in the rear left corner of the panel, arms folded and wearing a smug smile that's almost as sleazy as his cheap 1980s suit. Sean Berger stands uh, with his hands on his rotund hips in the rear right of the frame. Front and center, Lord Chumley stands smoking a pipe with two equally sinister men either side of him. One is his faithful manservant, manservant Dinsmore, while the other is none other than Dr. Arkaville. Dr. Arkaville has his robotic hands raised like a cartoonish Dracula, beaming with a demented grin, while Dinsmore remains behind Chumley like a stereotypical Igor character. Mud. Are you expecting <laughs> someone else? <laughs> <laughs> Still funny. <laughs> burger. Did we burger? have a burger? James, were you doing burger? Uh, now, what will he sound like? Oh, he's a fat piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I could just, like, he's eating a sandwich. Oh, I ate a long time for this. Yeah. Oh, it's been about time yeah. someone <laughs> took down you do-gooders, and it looks like my army of robo-tanks did the job nicely. <laughs> Boss hog. That's what he said. <laughs> well <laughs> done, <laughs> sir. Love it. Dr. Arkaville. Yes, thanks to my high-tech modifications and the immobilization discs now keeping these motorized miscreants frozen in place. <laughs> I truly am a genius of science. Chumley. I agree, Doctor. Welcome, Optimus Prime. Welcome to H A T E. What did we call ourselves again? <laughs> H-A-T-E. Humans against transforming extraterrestrials. We hunted you. We defeated you. We brought you here. Panel 2. A small insert panel reveals Optimus Prime's concern. Chumley, off panel. And we will end you. Caption. To be continued. Hey, guys. Uh, uh. Thank you very much. So very much. This was, uh, I had a lot of fun with this one. Um, <laughs> right, Greg? <laughs> yep. That's a lot of words. Yes. This is where you agreed. <laughs> that was amazing. I loved you it. You did well to read a lot of words. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's go around uh, the uh, metaphorical table here. Let everybody know where we can uh, find you guys, because uh, we're going to dive in and record uh, the next episode right away. So... Uh, Mr. Mike Seibert. Yeah, man. How you doing? I'm doing great. Hanging in there. <laughs> it's a it's a fun uh, science fiction double feature. I love it. Uh, you can find me on uh, Twitter and Facebook and Instagram at Mike Seibert Radio, and the spelling on that is S E I B E R T. And you can listen to my podcast, Mike Seibert Radio, pretty much everywhere that you listen to uh, Transformers Reanimated uh, and a bunch of other places you can't. So it's a uh, it's cool. We talk about stuff and things. And uh, so everybody knows, uh, whether you're listening to the YouTube version or the uh, the podcast version, I will include links to everybody down below. So uh, you don't have to you don't have to scramble to write this stuff down. You can click on the links. H T T P colon. Jesus Christ, man! You need the S, man. You want that little padlock? If you if you don't got the padlock, yeah, I mean, everybody can can see all your open open tabs there. Safe search is your friend. Incognito mode. Come on. What the fuck do you search for offline, man? <laughs> Brought to you by Netscape. <laughs> yeah. Who is Homer? My name is Guy Incognito. <laughs> I love that episode. All right, Mr. Burns, what's your first name? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. 
<laughs> oh, man. <laughs> and from the Autopod Decepticast, Ryan, tell us how we can uh, listen to your trio of uh, funny dudes talking about Transformers. Yeah, absolutely. We are also on uh, Twitter, Instagram, uh, mostly Twitter is mostly where we do ours at, at ApodDcast. And we have a website, AutopodDecepticast.com. And you can listen to our podcasts on all of the aggregators, Spotify, uh, Apple Podcasts, um, Stitcher, all that good stuff. And uh, you should. You should. (laughs) Do it. Do it now. (laughs) And that spelling is S E I B E R T. (laughs) Representing French Canada is James. I agree. You should definitely listen to their podcast because they're a lot more interesting than I am. Uh, I'm just Dogcades on Twitter. I guess you can find me on there once in a while, you know, scoring and and, and, and popping in once in a while and popping right back out. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. I look forward to the next episode. Peace. Cool. Mr. Toby. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Funky like a monkey. Too hot to handle. Uh, Yeah, so I am Alpha Magnus. That is A-L-P-H-A-M-A-G-N-U-S on just about everything. Um, Like... Maybe even Friendster, MySpace, all the good stuff. Craig, Craigslist. So if, and that spelling. <laughs> <laughs> so if our listening, if 